All right, welcome back everybody to another week of your CrossFit Cure at Home workouts. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, if you're working out at home, make sure if you're gonna be outside that you have plenty of water. Uh, those of you who are working out in the park, make sure you got a lot of water. We got uh, lots of work to do and it's getting hotter. So uh, we wanna make sure you guys are getting the best out of your workouts by staying hydrated. Okay, let's get started with Monday. This is a monostructural day. Here in the gym, we are rowing. So if you've got a rower, you're welcome to do that. Um, but otherwise, we're gonna do some running. So we are going to warm up to our run with several uh, exercises. I'm gonna try to describe them as best as I can, but just watch the video, it's gonna be a lot easier. Okay, so we're gonna go 30 seconds of each of the following for our warm up. The first is high knee karaoke. So the best way I can describe this, we're walking sideways, crossing our feet over, big step, big step, small step, small step, okay? So we will go one side big, then the other side follows that with a big step, and then we will cross over with two little steps. So 30 seconds of that each way, then we're gonna go uh, knee to chest, 30 seconds each. You should do this as repetitions, not as a single hold. So bring your knee up to your chest, give it a little tug and back down, switch legs. Figure four and lunge, you're gonna bring one uh, ankle, put it up on the other leg's knee, hinge forward, that is gonna be your figure four, and then bring it down, step into a lunge, that is your figure four and lunge. Torso twist, exactly what it sounds like. I like to put my elbows out for this, just twisting side to side, just a nice general um, kind of L-spine stretch. Then we're gonna do some toe touches. Uh, so let's do these as walking toe touches. So step forward, hinge down, touch one toe, come back up, step forward, bend down, touch the other toe. Then we're gonna do high knees. On our high knees and following uh, butt kickers, I want you guys to focus on not pulling your knee up, but actually not lifting your knee up because that's gonna activate our quad, but actually think about pulling your heel up and that is going to activate our hamstring. Um, it's a bigger muscle. So uh, hopefully it helps us save a little bit of energy in that run. So high knees and butt kickers, our goal is to keep our feet directly below this, uh, below us. One, the knee is gonna come out in front. The other, it is going to um, still point out in front, but at a lower angle, and that's on the butt kickers. Then we're gonna do a straight leg run. Pretend you don't have knees, okay? Don't hurt yourself, you shouldn't be running too fast, but run straight leg here. This is gonna warm up your hips. Then we're gonna do side shuffle, so in like a low sort of athletic quarter squat stance, shuffling side to side with our feet, kind of like you always see in those football drills. And then the next is side shuffle jumping jack. So you'll alternate between side shuffle and jumping jack. Um, I'm not sure when I film the movement if I'm gonna have enough space, so um, we'll see how that happens, but do as I described. That is your warm up. again, 30 seconds each of those movements. If it is a single side movement, do 30 seconds each side. Our what? If we're not rowing 2K or 2400, uh, or sorry, 2000 meters, we are gonna run 1.5 miles or 2400 meters. This should take us uh, somewhere between, probably I'd say 10 to 15 minutes here, hopefully on the, Below 15, if we're going over 15 minutes, we wanna scale that, probably put a cap there for our mile and a half. If you do not have a rower, you do not wanna run, I'm gonna link in the description an Instagram post from our friends at Ham Plan. That is gonna give you alternates for different variations of uh, length. You can use it for a lot of things. I've used it in our workouts previously. Um, alternate cardio workouts, it's got things like high knees, butt kickers, mountain climbers. It'll tell you how much to do. Um, and then you can just record in your notes exactly what you did. You can mix and match as you please with those to substitute. We just want a lot of cardio today. It is monostructural. So that is your workout. Uh, if you do run or row, record your time. Our stretching today is going to be a uh, three sets of the following. 30 seconds of standing forward bend, exactly what it sounds like. Um, I like to take a step forward in these. It's a hamstring stretch, keep our legs straight. Then elbow to instep, AKA Spider-Man, maybe not quite as low, stepping into that forward lunge. Bring your elbow to the inside of your foot and alternate. And then we're gonna go 30 seconds plank plus T-spine rotation. So in that plank, one arm goes through to thread the needle and then turn it around, reach up to the sky. So three sets, 30 seconds a piece. Our accessory work is four rounds, 20 second hollow rock. You can also substitute that for a bent hollow rock. 
then we're gonna rest. Then we're gonna go 20 seconds of sit-ups, and then we're gonna rest, and then 20 seconds of flutter kicks. Um, I gotta give myself, I give you time to splice in the videos here. Um, so just go ahead and rotate through those movements. Four rounds, it's kind of like a extended Tabata, essentially, uh, alternating movements every round. Um, that is it for us today, you guys. Like I said, stay hydrated with this one. Hope you guys enjoy, and we will see you tomorrow.